What's good guys, it is Wednesday the 26th of April and I just want to welcome you to today's session of the daily market analysis. So for today we'll be looking at yesterday's analysis on the euro dollar, uh, on the pound dollar and additionally we'll be also looking at the Aussie dollar on the 4 hour chart. So let's just start off with the euro dollar. Um, I mentioned to our members yesterday that I was in a short I had a short uh, sell limit right here uh, at 927 and I got filled as you can see I got filled price pushed up a bit before reacting with this uh, major trend line that we have here on the 4 hour chart uh, just traded sideways for a bit before pushing making its way downwards um, it's still quite early in the trade I'm about 14 pips up right now but I have targets all the way down here so we'll see how that goes in the next few days, possibly in the next few next week. Yep. So this is uh something that we can keep our keep an eye on for potential um potential uh mo movement of our stop loss if price manages to push below possibly this area right here, then we could perhaps set our stop loss to our break even. So this is the euro USD. Next up, let's look at the pound dollar. We identified this flag pattern which um which as you can see uh, this flag pattern has been reacting with the top of the resistance very nicely this uh, top of the channel the resistance right here uh, however we also identified this um, this uh, bottom of the flag however as you can see price reacted once twice but did not manage to um, to push downwards into that channel right there uh, however it did react it did start to react with uh, this horizontal support right here so our analysis was that we were looking for a bullish breakout considering that this was a bullish flag right here so <clears throat> as you can see price did push up um, push up past the past the top of the channel uh, indicating a breakout however it has pushed down back in here so this would be a good I I'm actually considering an entry for a long position right here because um, I, I, I think yesterday in yesterday's analysis I said that we could, if you were conservative, you could wait for price to push up out of the out of the range before making a pullback, where you can re-enter for a long entry right here. So this is something I'll look out for. Um, this candle seems to be pretty uh bearish, so I would have to wait for further price action. If this candle rejects this, if this candle rejects this uh this trend line right here, and uh as you can see, it's um having some indecision around that zone. If price can close above that area i'll be looking potentially for a long entry uh let's see if we have any divergences in price uh as of now not much divergence as uh price is in the the rsi is in the middle some it's uh, in the middle but you can see very clearly that price did break out reacted once and twice with uh with this um with this uh bull bull flag that we have identified here this is a very respectable zone as you can see because we have reaction here here two three four fifth time and as you zoom in you can see that we have a lot of wicks trying to reject that area but with this candle right here pushing up we had a very nice clear breakout but price came back down and tested this uh this support level this resistance that has turned into support so now we have to look for potential um weakness in this uptrend if um price could either bounce off this uh, trend line right here or it could just re-enter the bull flag so that's something we want to look out for like i said i'll make my decision on the four hour chart if price manages to um close above this zone right here then i'll possibly enter next bar market that means i'll enter in the next uh, candle so that has been the pound dollar for the next chart we want to look at will be the aussie dollar uh, just a simple simple analysis structure based analysis on this one uh you can see where price is at right now price has made a push up came down made a retracement back into previous structure before making its way down web into previous support uh so so basically this would be a decent area for a re-entry for a long area if i have to just draw a line right here you can see that price has reacted let's uh Let's look at it one by one here. Yeah. We can see that price has reacted as support, support, support in the form of a double bottom. Very nice double bottom. Um, um, very nice double bottom pattern we have here. Price has acted as support, rejecting this area very nicely. And as you can see, price also rejects it here. Had a lot of consolidation in this area. 
and uh, here at elementary effects we use consolidation as a form of structure and uh, you can see price rejects it rejects it rejects it rejects uh, and it, as you can see even though price rejects it many times once the final rejection it had a really clear move downwards so this was uh, about 300 pips so in this case we would we could expect possibly price to reject this area right here and um we could look for a potential long entry right here so now uh, we have this area identified right here uh, we can possibly look for reasons to why this would be a decent area for re-entry for a long position um so i'm looking i'm currently looking at this swing right here this swing high to swing low and this swing high to swing low as you can see it's a clear swing because price made retracement and this is also a clear swing swing because price made retracement so let us try look for potential fibonacci extensions which could confluence with our area that we identified so if we take an extension of this swing high to swing low back up to swing high you can see that we have a 1618 level lining up very nicely in that zone price has rejected this area multiple times here and uh, previously so 1618 would be a very decent level for entry uh, also we have uh, this swing right here if we were to take a Fibonacci extension uh, of the swing high to the swing low back up to the swing high we potentially have a 1414 in that area possibly confluencing with that 1618 as you can see the 1414 lines up very nicely with that 1618 level so this could potentially be an area for entry um, on the 4 hour chart you can see that this candle has a uh, slightly rejected this zone right here but if we to look on the hourly chart for potential entries um, okay let's just try one more Fibonacci extension of this swing high to swing low let's see what level that gives us 1414 another 1414 level lining up with that 1618 and 1414 level so this could potentially be a decent area for entry. I'm looking at this candle right here. We can see that there's a very nice doji candle. And um, I'm just waiting for price to... Uh, a possible trade that I can take for this would be if price manages to uh, retrace a bit. And so the RSI follows suit before pushing down into this zone uh, and having RSI oversold and possibly some divergence in RSI because this would be a really decent area for re-entry. So this has been the daily market analysis um, uh, for, for today. It's uh, Wednesday. So thank you guys for joining me. I also want to remind, thank you guys for uh, liking our Facebook page. We just reached 100 likes on our Facebook and uh, that really means a lot to us. Um, so thank you guys and I will see you in the next uh, daily market analysis tomorrow.